It's Thursday, and that means the weekly drought monitor is out. A little bit of good news and a little bit of bad news across the area, but overall, it does remain mostly unchanged. We'll start with the good news, though. That's the improvements. If you can try to see with my finger here, pointing into Mifflin County. That's a yellow now instead of that tan color. That tan color is your D1 or drought one category. It's called moderate drought, but we've downgraded it to an abnormally dry, which is our D0 category. Plenty of counties throughout the state remain under a drought watch, but you might have missed the update about a week and a half or so ago, where Franklin and Juniata counties located in South Central Pennsylvania were added to this. Here's an update to the potential coastal storm that could bring needed rainfall near the end of October. Now, this particular model, the American model, does have more rain getting in compared to what I was looking at Wednesday afternoon. It is now Thursday afternoon on the 23rd as I'm recording this. But you'll also want to note the time, Friday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Compare that to our European model, which has this days earlier now, which would be next Wednesday or day six in our seven day forecast right now. This has showers that could linger into Thursday, maybe not getting clipped with a whole bunch of rain, but enough to call it a decent soaking. This is why we emphasize with these coastal storms days out, it is just too early to tell and we just need the models to bounce around and figure it out. And I think through the weekend, we'll start to get a better idea of what our impacts might look like in the Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday time frame. But right now, there is still a lot up in the air. Stay tuned, though. The Fox 43 Weather Impact Team will keep you posted on what to expect.